All right, I know I'm a bit late to the party, but I've been eager to check out the Brooks Aurora BL for quite some time. Today, we're finally diving into this unique looking shoe that's been causing quite a buzz and raising more than a few eyebrows. You might be wondering if the folks at Brooks have gone off the deep end with this design. Usually, when we talk about Brooks, we're thinking solid and dependable. Words like innovative or groundbreaking don't usually pop up. They're known for classics like the Ghost and Glycerin, which are as reliable as they are predictable, much like that daily cup of coffee you can't do without. Hold up, Brooks has something up its sleeve. Tucked away within the company is the Blue Line Lab, a team that's all about breaking the mold and driving Brooks into the future of running tech. And what have they cooked up for us? The Aurora BL, a limited edition sneaker that's rewriting the rulebook on what Brooks can do with their running gear. Let's tie these up and see if the Aurora is as groundbreaking as it sounds. The part of the shoe that really stands out, the midsole. It's pretty hard to miss, and I promise we'll dive into the nitty-gritty details of the cushioning and how it feels underfoot later on, so don't go anywhere. First, we're going to look at the upper. Those of you who watch my channel know I usually praise Brooks for their solid upper designs, but the Aurora BL? Well, it's thrown us for a loop. This time around, it seems like they missed the mark a bit. That said, it's not a total loss. The shoe fits comfortably and true to size. The mesh in the toe box is super thin, which helps reduce weight, although it's not quite as breathable as you might expect. Plus, the tongue is gusseted, well-designed, and stretching over the midfoot with extra padding around the heel and ankle for a comfy feel. But here's a snag, the durability. Let's be honest, when you drop good money on a pair of Brooks, you're not just paying for the ride, you expect these kicks to last. Unfortunately, the Aurora BL might let you down in this department. Despite its cool, futuristic look and super light feel, this shoe was surprisingly fragile. Even minor scrapes can rip right through it, which is a real letdown. You'd expect this from a fancy designer shoe, not from a brand known for their tough running gear. Now, turning our attention to the outsole of the Aurora BL, I was really hoping for some positives, and thankfully, there are a few. The outsole features plenty of exposed foam, but is reinforced with four strategically placed rubber pieces. These are designed to protect the most wear-prone areas, and they worked as a charm which does reflect Brooks' commitment to durability. The thickness of the rubber sections really showed their worth, living up to Brooks' reputation for sturdy design. The grip is dependable too. On a dry day, whether you're running on light trails or through city parks, the Aurora BL provides a steady ride without any slip-ups. But if you're the kind of runner who likes to push boundaries, tackling rough terrains or running in wet conditions, the Aurora BL might not be the optimal pick. It does great on easy tracks, but for more extreme adventures, you might want to consider a shoe with a more aggressive grip. Before we get into the true juiciness of this video, it only costs $100 to subscribe to our channel. I'm just kidding. You can subscribe to our channel and be a part of our running community, and it won't cost you a single penny. To get weekly updates, from exciting new running gear to life-changing tips to make running easier and much more enjoyable every single time, the Aurora BL is priced at $200 directly from Brooks' website and weighs in at just 8.5 ounces, or 241 grams for a men's US size 9. It's surprisingly light for a shoe packed with so many features, which is definitely a highlight. So, let's talk about that unusual midsole. Brooks is calling this their most advanced cushioning to date, aiming to go a step beyond even their super popular glycerin. The Aurora's heel is a lofty 37 millimeters high, with a four foot stack of 31 millimeters, creating a six millimeter drop from heel to toe. It features the latest DNA Loft V3 foam, which includes nitrogen infusion, a fancy tech you're seeing more and more in Brooks lineup. Why nitrogen? When it's injected into the foam, it expands into a gas, boosting the cushioning without adding much weight at all. This means you get all that extra comfort without the shoe getting heavier, which is a big win for any runner. Now, about the weight. 8.5 ounces might sound light for a speedy shoe, but here's the twist. The Aurora isn't even trying to be a speedster. It's more in the league of uber-cushioned shoes like Nike's Invincible 3. Brooks claims running in the Aurora is like running on clouds. But let's be real, it's not the soft, sink-your-feet-in kind of cloud. Think of it more as a firm, springy cloud. It's bouncy, sure, but it's not going to give you that squishy, slow-motion feeling some Max cushion shoes have. So, set your expectations right. Recovery runs in the Aurora won't feel like other super-cushioned shoes. What makes it stand out is its responsive kick mixed with a forgiveness 
forgiving feel. Thanks to its hefty midsole, it's stable and great for long runs, yet it still has that urge to push you forward. It's almost like a max cushion shoe with an extra dose of adrenaline. It's verdict time. Who should step back from the Aurora BL? Budget watches. With a price tag of $200, the Aurora BL is definitely a splurge. If you're used to more wallet-friendly options, this might not be the best pick. Minimalism. Enthusiasts. If you prefer your shoes light and low to the ground, the Aurora's high and hefty build might not be your style. Plus, it's sure to turn some heads. Off-road runners. For those who hit hard, technical trails, the Aurora's design might not offer the grip you need for those challenging environments. Fit-specific runners. Offering only one width might not suit everyone, especially if you usually opt for a wide fit. So, who's the Aurora BL perfect for? Cushion connoisseurs. Love a plush ride? The Aurora BL offers a solid, responsive cushion thanks to its DNA Loft V3 midsole. Fun and functional. Weight conscious runners. Despite its substantial cushion, the Aurora BL is surprisingly light, making it ideal for those who want the cloud-like feel without the heaviness. Innovation seekers. If the latest tech excites you, the Aurora BL's nitrogen-infused foam and unique design deliver a fresh twist compared to traditional models. Style savvy athletes. With its bold and unique look, the Aurora BL stands out. It's perfect for those who value performance and want their gear to reflect their personality. My personal take. I've been eager to test out the Aurora BL for quite some time, and it did not disappoint. It challenges what we expect from Brooks and adds a thrilling twist to their lineup. If you're someone who steers clear of standout innovation or just prefer the basics, you might want to skip this one. But for everyone else excited about what's next in running tech, well, this is important. Brooks' most popular model, the Ghost, is now up Upgraded, and they didn't shy away with this one either. So, if you don't like Brooks as a brand, or if you dislike great running shoes overall, you have to skip this next video. For everybody else, I'll see you there.